Good evening, everybody. I'm so glad that every one of you could come and join our live stream night of worship tonight. I uh, hope that you have come prepared, ready to sing praise to God. Uh, one of the things that I want to make sure that you guys are doing is actively participating, singing out loud, doing it with as much gusto as you can. Uh, I said last week that I want you to sing so your neighbors can hear. Well, now I want your neighbor's neighbors to hear. Uh, so I'm going to ask that you, if you want to, you can stand, you can sit, you can do whatever you want. After all, you're in the comfort of your own home right now, maybe. And uh, I just want you to sing praises unto God, uh, bring glory to his name, because that's that's really what we're about. No matter what this COVID-19 thing, whatever the coronavirus is doing to our world around us, one thing that we I know for sure is that we were created to bring glory to God. So we're going to do that tonight through some singing of some songs, through some reading of some scripture, as well as taking some time to pray with one another uh, in a virtual way. So uh, I'm going to ask that uh, you sing along with me as we get ready to sing uh, the song, To God Be the Glory, Great Things He Has Done. Would you do that with me? Let's sing together. favorite psalms throughout the whole book because it reads this I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come my help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth he will not let your foot be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade on your right hand the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. He will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. We don't have anything to worry about because our help is from Christ. Our help comes from the Lord. So we need to make sure that we are lifting our eyes up to him and worship on a, on a daily basis. Because he doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber, he will keep us from harm. There is nothing too big for our God to handle. So therefore, we can lean on him. We can lean into his everlasting arms. There's a hymn that says that, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. Will you sing again with us as we sing, leaning on the everlasting arms? Thank you. 
a psalm that uh, I don't think we often we often think about at funerals at at uh, different times like that. But I think it's so applicable for us and where we're at right now and what we're going through. Is that of Psalm twenty three? Psalm twenty three says, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." Let's stop for a moment. Let's just think about that. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall. Not want. Another translation puts it, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Guys, I want to tell you something. Even in the midst of this coronavirus, even in the midst of COVID-19, we can have all that we need because we can have Jesus. Because he's our shepherd. Because he's the one who's leading our way through all of this nastiness, through this pandemic. He is leading us all the way. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Pastures that are good for us. Pastures that will help us, that will nourish us. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Jesus said this, Come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He's leading us through this coronavirus for his ultimate glory. One way or another, he will be glorified. Will it be through our lives? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I, I, I got thinking about that phrase and I thought this, I thought of this. What would it say, even though I walk through the valley of the coronavirus? What does it say? I will fear no evil. One of the verses that keeps coming to my mind as we go through this coronavirus, as we go through COVID-19, is this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. Wow. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the coronavirus, I will fear no evil. And the psalmist says, why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Maybe, just maybe, God is allowing the coronavirus to impact our lives so that way we are better disciples of him. Have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, we're going through all of this? We're not meeting together uh, physically. We're, we're doing all these things so that way we become the best sons and daughters of Christ that we can. What a challenge. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh man, what promises that we can cling to. The fact that someday, it doesn't matter if the coronavirus takes me, I'm gonna get to be in the house of the Lord forever. Because I have accepted Jesus as my Savior. And that it doesn't matter if we're tired and if we're beaten and if we're downtrodden. We can come to God exactly as we are. In the middle of the coronavirus, we can come to God exactly as we are because earth has no sorrow that heaven can. Would you take a moment and would you sing Come As You Are with me? Come as you are into the presence of God because he is an amazing, amazing God.
and I want us just to take a, a step back and I want us to pray and talk to God. Uh, we, we, Wednesday nights of the night, we normally have prayer meeting and uh, while we can't come together and meet together at this time, I still want us to be praying with one another. Uh, if you need the prayer list that we send out, would you just kind of go ahead and you can contact me later and I will make sure that you get that uh, tonight, maybe even. But I want us just to take a few moments and let's talk. Let's talk to God. Let's thank him for all that he has done for us. Well, let's also ask him to continue to help us as we go through this pandemic. Let's ask for strength for those who must deal with it, including the church, us as church. I, I saw it. I saw it on Facebook. I said it said this: uh, the church is is while it may not be able to meet, the church has been deployed. So let's be praying for one another as well that we might be able to effectively minister to those who come to Christ. Shall we pray? Dear Jesus, I thank you so much. Thank you for technology. I thank you that we have this technology that we can use to meet with one another virtually. Father, I ask that uh, your name would go forward through this pandemic. Lord, I ask that you would be granting us opportunities whether that be over the phone or in a text message or something like that, Lord, I ask that you would grant us opportunities to share the hope of you. Lord, as the song that we just sang said, earth has no sorrow that you can't heal. So Lord, I just ask that you would come, you would be with us, you would work in us. Lord, I thank you so much for all of the 
different professionals that are doing so much to help our country and help our nation at this time and this time of this pandemic. Lord, I pray for our president and our vice president, those that are around him. Lord, I ask that you would be granting him uh, the wisdom that he needs to be able to continue on. Lord, I pray for the same thing for our governor. Uh, Lord, would you please help uh, Governor Cuomo as he tries to lead our, our state. Lord, I ask that you would intervene in his life and Lord, that you would make your presence known to him. Lord, maybe take this time to draw him to you. Father, I, I thank you for those who are on the front lines of our pandemic, the doctors, the nurses, the dispatchers, the emergency personnel that are putting their lives on the line uh, for, the, for these individuals, for us. Lord, I ask that uh, you would minister to them, that you would encourage them, that you would build them up. Lord, I thank you for their work. But Lord, I also ask that you would help our church, help and find the church through this. Lord, that your name would go forward no matter what, no matter if people are in this building or not, or that your name goes forward and your name goes out. Father, I ask that you are glorified through Faith Bible Church. Help us really to be deployed missionaries right now, loving on individuals, showing them that you love them and that you're there and that we can look our eyes up to you. Lord, thank you that you've given us everything that we need. Father, I ask that... Uh, you would be with us, that you would work in us, Lord, that you are glorified. So, Lord, we ask that through this pandemic, through all of this, that you would change us, that you would change our lives. And Lord, that you would be praised. Lord, there are many, many things that are heavy on our hearts. Lord, take each request, and Lord, would you fulfill each one according to your great purpose and your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to take the time to sing one more song. You know, throughout all of this, one of the things that we have to have it is the fact that we have to have Christ, and Christ has to be the first thing that we say. Uh, Peter said this, let your words be always seasoned with salt, being ready always to give an answer to everyone who asks. So may Jesus be the first thing that we call, call as we deal with COVID-19. May Jesus be the first thing that we call when COVID-19 is a forgotten memory. May it be Jesus. Let it always be Jesus. Will you sing, let it be Jesus with us?
Yourself. We had planned for a guitar player to be here, but uh, some things came up, so they're unable to be here tonight. Uh, so we'll, we'll hope that those things get resolved, and uh, we'll be praying for that situation as well. I hope that you all have a great rest of the week. Uh, be looking out for videos coming out on here on the YouTube channel. Here's uh, the rest of the week. Uh, some special stuff for Mountaintop, especially uh, coming this week. So I hope to see you soon. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you, and I'll see you again in a video real soon. Bye-bye for now.